we sit and we drink vodka. We'll drink vodka. It's delicious vodka. This is delicious vodka. Vodka is not my favorite. Vodka's mixed. But I would love to, obviously this is lemonade vodka, it's delicious. Yes. But you can't get it outside of South Carolina. Uh, this this one from Firefly. That, which is a shame, it's delicious. Um, but anyways, vodka, like I, I would love to go to Russia and get vodka. Yeah, that would be a cool thing on a bucket list but to do, is like, to say you've had vodka in Russia. Vodka is also the, the one liqueur that I feel there's a drastic difference. I mean, there's from everyone, but I feel like the biggest difference between expensive and cheap is in vodka. Even more so than tequila? That'd be a close one. Yeah, because for say, me it's tequila. Cheap tequila is... Ugh. Yeah, <laughs> both of them. Like, yeah. Cheap vodka, cheap tequila. Yeah. Anyways, that was... Okay. So let's try it. Let's try it. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Reactions. It's up, Corbin. I'm not Russian. You wish you were Russian. You can no. follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you so much for following us. Twitter account, ring the bell, ring the Discord. Bang! Follow us on the description below. You know, when Vladimir has beans, Vladimir's Putin. <laughs> and murdering people. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't do that. It's just the KGB. Oh, they don't exist anymore. Ah! Anyways, today we're doing a cricket video. <laughs> Tell them oh. about my lifeguard pants. Oh, yeah, you, you look like a lifeguard today. I do. You know why? I got the red pants. And I got this. Hey, hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was wondering why you wanted me to reference those. Yep, and all I, that. It's because of your bulge. It's because of my blue ball. Today we're doing a cricket video. Yay! This is uh, speaking of blue balls. Ten unplayable swing deliveries. Hold that now. No, swing deliveries by Indian fast bowlers. Ten. Unplayable swing, swing deliveries, deliveries by Indian fast bowlers. Yeah. That's okay. a lot of adjectives. That is, that is a lot of adjectives. Uh, swing bowling is an art that not all bowlers can master. As it is said, bowler, bowling fast is something that can be achieved, but very few can move the ball literally, laterally, laterally in either direction with the... With spoofing deviation? Spoofing? Wow. Is that like... Um, the boofing from uh, what's his face? Because when you say Supreme Court spoof, spoof only means like a mocking kind of a thing. If you do a spoof, like Mel Brooks did a spoof of Star Wars with Spaceballs. So I've never oh. heard that terminology. In, no, Schwartz in is bigger than mine. Spaceballs, if you haven't seen it. Yogurt, had, I'd just be, plain yogurt. I'd be interested if Indians, obviously they didn't grow up in America. Yeah, you got would get space the references or get Mel Brooks in general. In general, because a lot of what he did was parody comedy of great American things. Yeah. So, Young Frankenstein's a parody of Frankenstein. Uh, Blazing Saddles is a parody of all the great spaghetti westerns. Spaceballs is a parody of uh, Star Wars. High Anxiety is a parody of all of Alfred Hitchcock's films. Yeah. That'd be interesting. Let us know if you love uh, Mel Brooks. I mean, Mel obviously, Brooks. if you've seen a lot of American films, classics, yeah. I mean, you might. You might. And even if you didn't, something like Young hilarious. Frankenstein, I don't know why you still wouldn't just adore it's Young Frankenstein. Frankenstein! Exactly. <laughs> Anyways, that's nothing to do with this video. True. Uh, but, you know, that's the stupidity that you come here for. That's why you come here. Here we go. Hey guys! Hi! Hi! To Astronics. <laughs> Thank you! This is Hitesh and today I will present you 10 unplayable swing deliveries by Indian bowling legends. Okay. Do watch till the end. It's so weird. Okay. Ominous. It's like he's hypnotizing us. I hope the, the video quality is okay. That's usually what is challenging with a lot of these. Yeah. Did that go through him? It looked like it went through him. It, it, Where did it go? Did it go between his legs? Ridiculously impressive, because I don't even know where that went. Good way. Nothing back and through. I don't know. Once again, it literally looked like it went through him. Right, that's who I thought was Irfan Khan that we were changing in the stadium. Yes. Scott Sterling! 
Yeah, do you see that Dang. movement? Like, you couldn't have gotten closer to him without, like, hitting him. Oh, cleaned him up. Great delivery from Balaji. Can you show it again, but, like, give yeah, us... Yeah, like, from the, before he releases it? Two wickets in three balls is struck. Pakistan have lost two wickets very quickly. Middle leg looks to me down the seam, swings in under uh, the bat of the new batsman. Did you see how he was holding that? Yep. Yeah, that was grip, wow. grip Did that just go like straight on the... Did you see the cat in the Yankees game the other day? Yes! It was spectacular. The fans were cheering for it. Yeah. Oh. MVP. I don't know why cricket videos are always so poor in quality. Most of them, a lot of them are old. Yes. Well, I can't see anything can't see with that. Sri Shant. That looks like it's going at least 70 miles an hour. Yeah, how long did they say? Right. How fast did they say they were going? They can go up to 90. Usually between like 70 and and just around 90. The thing that's crazy to me, obviously, they have to be so precise in knowing how it's going to bounce. Yeah. Because if it hits them, that's that's uh, a ball, right? They, obviously, they have to give a little bit of a spin, right? Yeah, it's got. It's, it's got to be so precise, though. Yeah. And know where exactly? I mean, obviously they're professionals, so obviously that makes sense. But it seems like a yeah, lot of variables. A lot of variables. Because, like in baseball, it's just how he throws it and his velocity, right? But it's not a, a different element like the ground. Correct. <laughs> Sorry, there is defensive. Sorry, I know someone picked on the screen. India has struck at last. They've been desperate. That's the unfortunate thing, by the way. Finally, gets the ring just right. Ball just nips around a bit in between the back and then close the drive. That's a fine delivery. The Marshak for 47. Trying to be. The balls on these, uh, the guys, though, like they don't move. Him. Some of these go in like That's the smallest little hole. Delivery. Yeah. And you can see by the smile on Dev's face, he really did enjoy it. Oh, oh, that's who ran Beer's play. That guy. Oh, it's so frustrating to have to try to focus. Look how he goes in between the bat and the yeah. person. That's insane. Yeah, that's who ran Beer's play. I recognize him. Yeah, uh, Dev uh, Kapil. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to see that. That is a great delivery. Zarkhan is on for... You know, Clue. Shouldering arms. The cameraman couldn't see it either. <laughs> back just a little bit. Hitting the top of the off stump. And Zayn's got two and two. Delighted, isn't he? And they still do not have a run on the... Yeah, that's always Don't the... Yeah. Extra it seems like the past six or seven videos we've done with cricket, you can hardly see well, what's going Well, because a on. lot of the ones were... Uh, Obviously, we can't do the ICC ones because right. they block and copyright strike. Um, so, like for the cricket stuff, because a lot of people love when we do cricket reactions, they because they and love obviously too. the sport. Yeah. Um, but it's like the top whatever ever. So it's older videos, and so a lot of them are extremely grainy. I have no way of I can't watch the video before. Yeah, I just don't understand why they're so bad. Yeah. Like I was just this morning. I was at. 
the gym and on the TV, they had a classic baseball game on the TV between the Dodgers and the Astros from early 1980s. So we're talking 40 years ago and it was fine. There's a lot more money in America. And is that, it's just a matter of budget? They have much better cameras here than they, they probably did. Cause one, cricket, obviously it's popular in India, but worldwide, it wasn't extremely popular until very recently with the T20s, right? Yeah, that's true. Um, and so the, a lot of money wasn't put into it, um, like obviously in, in America. And I don't even really know as well, I mean, how much, that'd be a really cool thing to learn about. Cause like, I know the history of both, uh, of baseball, mm -hmm. it's history in radio and it's history in television. I'd love to know that of like cricket. Cause like when my dad was a little boy, when he was really little, it was just listen on the radio. Baseball, yeah. That's it. And then it was black and white TV and it was one camera behind center, behind the plate. And then they eventually got two cameras. There was one in the outfield and there was one, and you could see it in some of the really, really old footage. <clears throat> and then by the time we hit the 1960s and early 70s, the footage started to get really, really good. I wonder what that's like as well. I wonder when cricket even started to become televised yeah. in India. That'd be interesting. Yeah. You guys obviously, I'm sure, know, so let us know. But yeah, the thing that's most impressive though, it's like, because it looked like a lot of times, so like they're standing like this, the ball will go in here, it looks like. Right. So the bat's here, their body's here, and the ball goes in there to the wicket. Right. Which is insane skill. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm guessing, Obviously, they're a professional. They know that ball's going to go there. Absolutely. So, I, I think it's exactly like Major League Baseball pitching in terms of you know exactly where you're going to put the ball. You can make mistakes every once mm -hmm. in a while, but within a matter of a centimeter or two, There's so you, many you have an idea of what you want to the do. The pitcher is in complete control, usually, for the 99.9% .9 of the time, of what the ball's going to do. Right. You, you add the, the ground. Right. It gets a bad, a bad spin on the ground. Well, not just a bad spin on the ground, but the pinpoint accuracy with which you may get a spin on the, the ball the way you want it to go, but you're gonna have to place it in the exact right spot for it to go and actually hit the sticks. Because if you do it too soon, it could bounce too high. If you do it too far, it could bounce in the wrong direction. So the, it, the pinpoint accuracy of where they throw it on the ground and then matching the spin with the ball so that it does what they want it to do on the skip and, is pretty remarkable. And the- Pretty, the, pretty crazy. The, Balls or vagina on these guys. Um, if you know that reference, uh, uh, Betty White, uh, to just not move. Because yeah. obviously in baseball, you know, obviously their profession, even though that's scary as hell, the hundred miles an hour, miles an hour balls coming at your face. Uh, your mom's also really good at that. That's um, true. <laughs> but like. This ball is now going crazy. It's hitting something. You have no idea where it's going and you just... Well, and I bet, I could be wrong, but I bet there's something comparable as well in terms of the batsman is guessing what the thing's going to be thrown at them. That happens in baseball as well. Yeah. And you freeze. Yeah. Because it's not what you were expecting. So if you were expecting, for example, a, something to come at you on a pretty straight hop or it was gonna curve to the outside and it kicks and comes in, especially if you see the release and you think you can pick up the spin on the ball when it leaves the hand, and when it hits the ground, it goes in the opposite direction, it'll yeah, freeze in, you. In baseball, you know the ball's coming within basically this, unless it's obviously a, um, um, a ball, obviously, and it's crazy out. But it's coming in a relatively similar area. You could, <laughs> it could literally go anywhere. Well, the other thing that's crazy about this, this is not only is it coming in basically anywhere and it's skipping off the ground, but your swing can hit it anywhere. Yeah. Which that's just, that was the craziest thing for me to comprehend is that the ball is fair 360. Mm -hmm. I still can't wrap my head around that as a batsman. I think they're actually about to have cricket games here in LA. Are they? Like, cause like somebody, I think somebody sent me something and it was like the, the U.S. Cricket League. And cool. Obviously, we have one here. Um, but I didn't know, I didn't look into exactly when it is. So maybe I, I'll look into that because I loved going to both of the games oh, that we went to. Yeah. Even though it was quite sad. It was such, it was, uh, it didn't, it was, uh, I did prefer, uh, Mumbai. Yeah. 
that was oh well, the the crowd especially it was different. even though we had a fun crowd we in, had a fun in, crowd in, 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 in it Florida was, but it's it was humid oh god it was awful well, that's the word I mean I guess it's good for cricket it's probably good for the field to be humid and stuff but I like yes I don't know dang game man. had to be called because of because of lightning <laughs> and downpour yeah anyways. Uh, let us know uh, other cricket videos we should react to, and uh, if you know about the U.S. Cricket League, let me know. Double. Just